Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery with my very first night shoot. And it may or may not work out well, but I'm going to give it a shot. So I wanted to show you guys how thin the Vivid Polypore works out. I put that, my leftover spoon stuff, in, in the lid of a silicone container and I could peel it up and I could, I'm thinking about doing spots. Anyway, so this 16 by 20 inch canvas is going to get some puddles like I did on a smaller 14 by 14 that I really loved yesterday. And I had a wet background, so it's not going to be the same thing. It's really going to be something different for me. And I want to make these go all... I don't want to make them go all over, <laughs> but I want to make them go all over. Uh, how am I trying to explain this? I'm not doing a good job with that. Um, I want to be able to have them mostly on one side so that I can sweep them down with the spatula. I'm not sure you can see that. We're going to use the OXO Omelet Turning Flip and Fold Spatula. I'm going to use my prism pour colors. And I think I'm just going to put a few little wangly worms. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Maybe I'm giddy. I don't know. So I'm going to be using... That was mead and black and, and it's a dry canvas with mead and black on it. This is the um, pris uh, yeah, Prism Pour Chantilly Laced. Lace. And I'd like it to continue to come out. And I have been calling the Mayan Gold Aztec Gold, and I'm going to use some of that in a minute. And I'd like to save some of this. I'm almost out of this, so I don't know what's going to happen after that. This is the, like I said, the Mayan gold. And those are the two, the three colors that I'm going to start with. And then I'm going to try and segregate my colors a little bit. Because I find if I put them in different zones, then I get a better reaction. I want a little bit more of this in here. I'm going to start with my blue velvet. And maybe use a little bit more of that somewhere else. And then, I'm not sure what this is called. I think it's Berry Frost. Uh, it is Frosted Berries. Close, close enough. And I'm going to combine that with some of my poinsettia as long as I opened it. Yes, I did. Good. And my Pink Diamond. Hopefully. And I don't mind if I have a few strands leading things together. Here's my pink diamond. Here's my pink diamond. Try not to be shy with the colors. I like the bonfire. This is the bonfire. It works well with everything, along with Pink Dalian, Pink Lady, which I'm not sure. Oh, I have some Ambrosia this time. I think it's Ambrosia. There's a Baltic Amber I'm missing. I haven't found it yet. It's around here somewhere. So this is the Ambrosia. And I don't know how this is going to go, but I will be using the Amsterdam White, the Amsterdam Black, and the Dioxazine Purple from Hobby Lobby as cell activators added to Amsterdam, excuse me, added to Aussie Flow Troll. So this is the African Violet, which I totally want some more of, to tell you the truth. Because I have mixed up everything that I've got. And this has got to be one of my all-time favorites. I have some Water Dragon. Don't mind throwing a little bit of an odd color combination into something else. What else have I got? I've got Frozen. Which I'd like to add. I added a little bit after I did my swiping yesterday. I have some Twilight Violet. 
which I haven't used very much of, and I think I'm... Oh, yeah, that's great with the African violet. Wow. Beautiful. And I've got a big... I've got an 8-ounce container of this, so I will be mixing more of that soon. What did I not use? I didn't use any Fandango. Which I totally love with that. Why is it with the frozen? I've got a little bit of yellow. You know what I haven't used? I, I'm sneaky. I saved some hot orchid. They don't make it. You might ask if there's jasmine in the uh, pigments. You might be able to mix up something really similar. It does tend to uh, dendrite or bleed or any number of names. I'm missing Claret, and I think I have one spoon left somewhere. There we go. Cool. Yeah. I'm kind of tending to think that I'm going to be taking my time cleaning this up. I have a random orange color that has some of the Vivid Polypore. I'll leave the recipe that I'm using underneath the video. I just happen to like adding a little bit of the orange. It judges, it affects everything quite nicely. So here goes nothing. Ha ha ha. I am going to start with, I'm going to go that way, so I want to flip it over this way. I'm going to start with some white and some purple, maybe and some black. Maybe I'll just go for, go for broke. Oh, I wish that was a little more open. And I should probably get that bottle out of the way. Okay, I'm going to start here. And scrape that off right down here at the bottom. And I have a, a clean, another clean spatula to use if I so desire. Now, if I want to go that way, that would be left-handed. That might not work well for me, but I want to do, I want to go over there, I think. It's important that you have enough cell activator, because when you don't have enough, you don't get the same reactions. It's really important to leave your bottles out of the way also. Now, like I said, I hadn't, I have not done this without having a wet canvas, and that might be key. I'm hoping that I have enough paint, to tell you the truth, in my puddles to make it work and viable anyway. I am not afraid to scrape my spatula off on the canvas, and I may be tipping. And all those colors are still really cool, and I refuse to wipe them away. I just can't bring myself to do it. I'm glad this is still coming out. I'll take half of it and go here. Half of it go where else? Hmm. I'm getting somewhere. I'm just not sure I'm done yet. I seem to be using mostly the white. It's good to have texture sometimes. That's what I decided when I was waggling. Now I have this here and that either is going to get blown into not sure what's going to happen with that, but I do like using the white cell activator. On the black canvas.
And I have been so far using, oh, I want some of that black in there. Using my little acetate tools, which I will attempt to remember to add the video underneath. I'm so close. So I think I am going to just grab an acetate tool and hope one of them is handy and clean. And I'm not seeing all of them, so I'm just going to use the little one that I've got. I'm going to continue on with the white. Whoops, right down the handle. So this is the purple. I have a bunch of these round ones and I'm not sure where they are. They should be right in my... There it is! I got one. Cool. It was where it belonged. I just didn't see it. It was situated sideways. I like putting little swirly curves in because it, su it suddenly adds a dimension that wasn't there before. And if I wanted to use these tools to go down over the side, they'd be great to do that. But right now, I'd just like to keep from ruining this, if at all possible. A little more purple. Oh, I meant to use the larger tool, and I will do that in a moment. Okay, larger tool on board. Where am I going to use it? I think I might like to use, use some of it here. I really haven't gone for the black, but because it's a black background, that seems like a sensible thing to me. So that's pretty neat. I'm not sure how much further I should go, but what I did the last time I was thinking like that was take some of this Chantilly lace, and in this case I'm going to put it in there. Where else? Somewhere else. So I've got a lot of that in there. A little focused. That was kind of cool. Looks like a set of antlers from down here, though. I don't think I've ever done a spiral. Or even tried a spiral. I'd like that to all come off of there, please. So there is a 20% off coupon code underneath the video. This is cool. Not 100% sure I'm done. But I'm close. Really close. Kind of want... A little tiny bit of that orange. couple more lines and not worry about it. I've got some puddles but I use GAC 800 which is changing its name to another pouring medium from Golden 
and I'm sorry I don't have that name on the tip of my tongue, but keep your eye out for it because you're going to want to keep using it. I like to have 25% if I can possibly manage it to keep the, the heavy paint from cracking as it dries. I could torch, couldn't I? That sort of leaves the eye a little too much out, right off. So I'll just add a couple more things to it. So it'll be slightly less. How about a little pink diamond? Right there. I like to add a few rogue elements at the very end. Got some other color in there, so there must be a place that I want this. I like that, that's fine. Just spread that one out a little bit. See if there's any place else that I might want some. And I want to be a lot careful right now because I like it as it is. And I do need the torch. That is so cool, really it is. All right, I've got two minutes to tell you guys. I do sell my artwork and if you're interested in making a purchase and you'd like to inquire, please use my email address that you will find underneath show more when you open show more um, not really exactly sure I'm 100% done because I keep seeing things I want to play with but that's just par for the course when I'm enjoying my process so what else should I tell you guys I need to torch to release any bubbles and and I'll look for bubbles in the side light from from an angle I'd like to um, I'd like to zoom in I wish I could show you the shimmer in this, and maybe I can. Those are great colors. I see something, one more thing I want to do. Um, thinking I want some, some blue velvet right here. I hope I'm right. A little bit right here too. So I have a uh, link tree and on it you'll find Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links, my Facebook groups, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group is for students, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Totes and More has links to shop, pixels.com and Fine Art America, spring clothing sometimes, and Society6 most recently which is on the link tree and awesome. Totally worth checking out. Some of the dark areas are making me want to add something else in there. In any case, I've got cleanup to do soon. I should read my list. My community board will show you tomorrow's video most often. Please feel free to ask questions. If you, do, if you locate my Amazon link and you want to shop for anything on Amazon from there, it will probably eventually help me out. My two books are there because I can in unlimited possibilities. Um, thank you guys for all the donations that help keep me painting all this time. I really, really appreciate it. I'm going to zoom in at the very least because this is a 16 by 20 inch canvas and I had to have a little bit of experience doing enough of these to not feel like I was going to risk losing that awesome paint. And I can't do much about my nightlight, but I am going to grab my phone and see if I can't shine a little light on the subject. Whoops. I never get that right. And I don't know if I can zoom in and shine a light on that, but I will try. <laughs> 